Are you done? Out there with you. This is my pal. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, sure. Get out of here. Right, you're messing with the wrong people. Well, I'm saying it's not There's money in this hill. Just take it and go. We ain't thieves. Then who are you, then? He ain't here. Out the window? No, it's barred up. You said he'd be here. He was there. Where? Eh? I reckon they got the wrong pub. You think we're stupid? Do you, you blonde tart? Let's go to his flat. Who are you looking for? I went there looking for Phil. Well, you missed him by weeks. You want to get yourselves a new diary? <laughs> We're here for Jason Dyer. Now, was he here, eh? You! What do you keep giving him that look for? I ain't looking at no one. Come here. Honestly, mate, none of us want any trouble. Yes, sir, you don't know. Leave him alone, will I'm you? I'm talking to you, eh, Ace? No! We're just having a drink. None of us want any trouble. Where is he? I'm protecting Mickey. I don't want Patrick to end up back in the hospital again. Someone's there, Dad. She's only five months. Oh, hey. <sighs> you think you hurt babies, do you? Eh? Hey? What do you take us for? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we, uh, we just want to talk to him. So, I'm going to count to three. Oi! Hey, come on, mate, let me go. I've got to get... You're going somewhere. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, that's... That's freaking me out, that. <laughs> Shut up, all blokes like that. Yeah? Yeah. Why well, do you like it? Yeah, <laughs> come here. I'll try it. It's itchy. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, don't worry, she'll shut up. No, go on. You can't leave, go on. All right. You stay there, mister, cos I've got some more moves I want to put on you. <laughs> Question. Are you all right, Dad? Yeah, you should see the other guy this much. <laughs> ah, there's blokes on every door. Anyone else tries to leg it, we'll get the same. You think we're scared of you, you cowards? It's a shame the family couldn't be here with us tonight. Understandable, under the circumstances. Um, you know, I'm sure it's still pretty raw for them. Um, let's make sure that we keep our eye on them over the coming weeks, though, eh? This... I'd like to make a toast. Um, Cat Slater, may you rest in peace. Cat Slater, may you rest in peace. Mm. <laughs> Blimey, has someone died? <laughs> Only joking. As you can probably see, I'm not dead. Cat! Sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Nan made a mistake. Uh, hang on, hang on. She said she'd seen the body. <laughs> oh, so she's making it up? <laughs> not exactly. It must have been. And why would she do that? Obvious, innit? For the money. Well, look, we brought back the money collected tonight, every single penny. Oh, you're admitting to it, then? Can't we just be happy that cat's back? Well, maybe... maybe it's best if Nan explains herself. <sighs> Nan. Nan! Ah! Mo? Oh. 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 Someone call an ambulance. 
I think she's having a heart attack. She's not breathing. Put her in a recovery position. Yeah, uh, ambulance, please. To the Queen Vic pub, Albert Square, Leave her. <clears throat> what? I said leave her. Get up. Nan, get up. Oh, oh, are you serious? Really? Look, she didn't mean any harm, all right? She just got herself into trouble and sort of made it up. But she was going to pay everyone back. So no harm done, yeah? No, I'm sorry, but it ain't that easy. Sorry, what's your problem? Old bag conned all of us, that's what. Hey, don't you call my nan an old bag. Well, hang on a minute, Stace. Maybe we do deserve a bit of an apology. Nan, sorry. There we go. She said sorry. I'll give you the money back. End of. What if it's not? Eh? She wants a slap. Oh. Yeah? Oh, you yeah. have to come through me first, Wayne. Oh. Who are you oh. talking to? Oh, get out of my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for a minute. Uh, they'll get over it by the morning. Well, I hope so. I've forgotten what a proper slate and night out was like. Yeah. Well, hold on to your hats. Cos I've got a feeling we might be having a few more. Sorry, Pauline, but I've been run ragged and that Janine, well, she's winding me up something rotten. Yeah, well, perhaps we can get some decisions made now. Oh, what's she doing now? Oh, I'm sorry, Pauline. Right, that's it. I quit. I shall celebrate the Queen's Jubilee in my own way, in my own home, and this lot can sort themselves out. Oh, Pauline! Struggling tonight, are we? So what do you think of him? <laughs> yeah, I like him. It's a really nice colour, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite cute. You haven't got another colour, have you? No, I've got one. Oh, God, I'm sorry, love. Oh, it's my fault. Really? Didn't know you had one of these? Yeah, it's Ian's. It's new. Oh, well, it's not broken. I'm sure it'll be all right. Hello? I've had to come outside. I want you to look up an island. Why? Do you want me to take you away one day? I do with a bit of sun. Yeah, well, sun won't be the first thing on my mind. Hmm. Right, what else can I do for you then? It's called Luzon. L U Z O N. I knew it. What? You cheating cow. <laughs> what about? You heard. You're coming with me. Oh, get out! Cindy! Cindy! Off me! Quizzes off! Says who? Says me. I caught her cheating, see? Just 
Because someone's on the phone doesn't mean anything. Yeah, she could be phoning well, anyone. What? Like her boyfriend or something. Hey, it's out of order. Look, I was phoning a friend. She was ill. I was just checking to see if she was all right. You've been yeah. strolling back and forth with this phone all night trying to get oh. the answers. I know it. I heard you. Why don't you just sit down, eh? Well, you're probably in on it as well. Oh, right, that's enough of that. I am not playing against cheats. Either you sit down and you get it, and that goes for you too. All I did was phone a friend. Yeah. Calm down, it's only a quiz. Just tell her, mate. Oh, leave her alone. Hey, it was Get her Smart, Jimmy. Really smart. Hey, what's going on in there? Trouble? Yeah. Bad? Nothing that Grant Mitchell can't handle. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Girl. What is it? It's a holiday. <laughs> you mean it's an honeymoon? Yeah, you leave tomorrow. I, I can't go tomorrow. I've got things to arrange. Well, like what? Well, Betty and... Well, things. Yes, but everything's already arranged, Paul. Rebecca's going back to Margaret on Monday, and well, me and Sonia can take care of her else, can't we? Yeah, of course. Oh, the young lovers. Hmm? Oh, yeah, we're fine, thanks. More to the point, how's your landy? Oh, she's great. Oh, really? Oh, why shouldn't she be? She's married to me. Kevin, your cab's here. And be nice to your auntie Pat. Farewell, London. Yeah. I've got a right to know what? That he's been treating you like a mug. Stace, what are you talking about? Your husband's been having it off with Pat. See you later, chaps. Tell me it's not true. Have you been sleeping with that old tart? Now, just a minute. I saw him. You've been sleeping with my husband? Well, to be honest, I don't remember doing an awful lot of sleeping. Oi! <laughs> oh, oh, Why you, Stace? Why has it always got to be you? Because I'm the only one with guts, Randy. I think it's because you're sick. And do you know what? I don't want anything to do with you. I'll bother it. Dad, you're going to miss your flight. Well, where's the cabbie? <laughs> oh, marvellous. I don't believe this. What? Carly. Dad. <laughs> This is what I call a wedding, this. You're like, please. Don't touch me. <laughs> You're landing. You're landing. Welcome to Walford. Do you know what? I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.